it's March the 15th, 44 BC, the Ides of March, it's 8 o'clock PM, Brutus, Cassius and Decimus, the, the most important organizers of the conspiracy to kill Julius Caesar are waiting to Caesar, for Caesar to come, to meet them. Where? Why? What happened? Okay, this is Rome. This is a map of the city of Rome. All the blue points you see in these uh, Google Earth maps are going to be covered today. So it's a lot of information, it's a lot of monuments, and I really want you to fall in love with the city of Rome. And obviously this is a perfect excuse to show you the beauty of the city. We fly to the city center in an area that's very close to the Pantheon. If you were in Rome, you know what I mean. The Pantheon is one of the most famous monuments of the world. There is an archaeological area. As you can see, it's dug right in the middle of the city center. Here, the archaeologists demolished an entire uh, block of the city, and they were able to find four different temples. You see only the basement and the columns of the temples, but there were four, number four, okay? If you look at this uh, reconstruction of the area, you see one, two, three, and four temples, okay? And that's exactly what you can see in front of me. You have to use a lot of uh, imagination to remake the, um, the maps of Rome, okay? So the four temples are here. Why are they important? Because right behind these four temples, there was a structure. So today, if you come to Rome, you can see this area. It's going to be open to the visitors in a few weeks. So you will be maybe the first visitors able to go down and visit the area. Right behind the four temples, as you notice in this reconstruction, there was a, a big hall. Let me say like a room we, with an entrance, with columns. It seems like a temple. It was not a temple. We call it Curia Pompeii. It was built by Pompeo. Pompeii, Pompeii was the greatest friend and worst enemy Julius Caesar had during his life. This is where Julius Caesar was going to be assassinated. And it's very ironic that he was killed in a, in a room, in a hall that was built by his worst enemy. Okay. What, what does it remain today of this uh, building? Nothing. The wall in front of you. This is one of the most terrible things you can find in Rome. This wall is the end wall of a room where the Senate uh, met together uh, during the Ides of March, March the 15th. The only uh, sign, the only information you find on the wall, it's don't uh, feed the cats because you will find out if you come to Rome that this is the cats colony of the city center. All the cats of the Colosseum were moved to this area. The name of the archaeological area is Largo Argentina, so Argentina Square, and uh, they were moved here and people come and they give food to the cats. So obviously it's not good for the health of the cats, but can you imagine? This is the room where Julius Caesar was assassinated and the only information you find is uh, don't feed the cats. That's something I hate in Rome. When we really underrate the importance of the monuments, when you see this a small tree in front of you, there was a marble basement. Uh, there was a statue on the basement, the statue of Pompeii, the builder of the hall. And right at the feet of the basement, um, right at the bottom of the statue, Julius Caesar was assassinated. But at this time, Brutus, Cassius, and Decimus are waiting for Julius Caesar. Caesar didn't come yet. If you see the videos uh, freezing, is not because of the connection. It's because I stopped the video to talk, okay? Um, so don't worry. Okay, now it's time to introduce the protagonist of the story. Here you see Brutus in the middle, and down to the right you see Cassius. They were, in practice, they were stepbrothers, okay? Uh, Brut Cassius married uh, Brutus' sister. But the most important figure, the most important person is Servilia. Is this beautiful woman that you see up to the top. She was Brutus' mother. Servilia, when she was only 16, 17, um, she had a, a love relationship relationship with Julius Caesar. Caesar loved Servilia so much for his entire life. Caesar had three different wives plus Cleopatra. Doesn't matter. Servilia probably has been the real love of his life. He gave him a gem for the value of six million sesterci. That's today like more than $10 million. In any case, Servilia married another man. Julius Caesar married three other women, but Servilia remained the love of his life. And at a certain point, the rumors in Rome start saying that Brutus, the son that Servilia had when she was only 17, was not her husband's son, but he was Julius Caesar's son. That's going to be very important for the uh, for our story, okay? So we cannot prove that Brutus, Brutus was the son of Julius Caesar. It was just rumors that everybody he hear, um, heard in the, in the city of Rome. But you have to know that Brutus was the natural son of Servilia. Servilia has been one of the most important um, um, women in the life of Julius Caesar. And there is a chance maybe small, maybe big, I don't know, I was not there, I never met them, that Brutus was Caesar's son. But it's very ironic, because probably Caesar was killed by a possible son, okay? That's the story. 
Brutus Cassius, okay? Now you know them. Who is the third organizer of the conspiracy? His name is Decimus. Decimus, Decimus was the right hand of Julius Caesar. Today we're going to learn uh, the name Decimus. We're going to meet him. We're going to understand who he was. Decimus is very important in the conspiracy. Without Decimus, the conspiracy couldn't work for the simple reason that Julius Caesar trusted Decimus better than his, uh, than his brother and than his uh, father, okay? Decimus was uh, one of the two most important collaborators of Julius Caesar together with Mark Antony. So Decimus moved Caesar toward his assassination. That's why it's so important. He was a, a general in the army of Julius Caesar. Um...